since my last video, I was arrested, and I spent five months in, well, I was in an Los Angeles County Jail, in a gay dorm, it was ridiculous, um, then they transferred me over to the Federal Detention Center in Los Angeles, much better, um, then eventually I was transferred to the Washington DC, and, um, uh, I was, um, released, you know, to, in, I had a sign, something saying I would come back to my preliminary hearing, and the judge ordered me to do drug, you know, do drug testing and check in with pre-trial services. Well, um, I got off the preliminary hearing. And apparently there's a uh, probable cause. So I'm waiting for a grand jury, something about the grand jury. And it'll give me a court date um, for my next, you know, to come to appear next uh, for my trial. So a week goes by, and I, and I don't call my pre trial services right away, like I'm supposed to. Um, so I call her the following week, or something like that. And when I call her, she tells me that, um, I told her my name and she tells me that I'm not on her list anymore. And I'm like, well, maybe that's because back in January, she maybe she was thinking that because, uh, she remembers me from back in January, I was supposed to be checking in and she thought I wasn't on the list anymore, but I'm, you know, I shouldn't be on the list. I should be having to check in and drug test, right? Court ordered. Um, she puts me on hold and then comes back and tells me that my case was dismissed. And I'm like, mm, I wish. That sounds great, but it's probably something, you know, that's, uh, I don't know. I don't know what else I'm just, I didn't believe it. Um, well, I kind of believed it, but I... I was skeptical. And then my lawyer calls my brother and tells him that my case was dismissed and for me to call him back and they can give me papers. Um, the paper saying that my case was dismissed. It was dismissed on October. My preliminary hearing was October 18th or 8th and my preliminary hearing was uh, the, when it was dismissed, it was October 15th. There was um, in the summary of uh, online there was some lawyer that was there, and he put in a, a request for dismissal. Uh, it doesn't say why, and it doesn't, you know, give any more details than that. It just says that the case is closed, dismissed. What? <laughs> um, so here I am in Baltimore, um, where I live now. Um, and... Look at what it's done to me. I look horrible. It looks like a fucking... My clothes, my fabulous clothes are all gone. All gone. Ugh, that's my one, one regret. Is my... Just, you know, you spend so much time and so much money investing in something that you are really passionate about and love. And... And, you know, it's kind of, it should have been expected, I guess, because anybody I've heard before that's gotten into trouble and they've always, they've lost everything. But I told myself that that would never happen to me. It did. Um, so, that's all gone, all of it. <sighs> um, but if you remember, or if you watched the other video, um, for, you know, uh, about what to do next, I think that's what it was called, um, and I just, I really wanted to, before I was arrested, I just wanted to see Beyonce, I just wanted to go see her perform what was, what is, has been said to be her most ambitious concert to date, and I was just, you know, devastated by that too, and I'm like, you know, I 
been online to her website to check out what she was up to. And she's still on tour. We're on tour, right? She's still on tour. And so I was like, okay, well, uh, wherever she's coming closest to here, I'm going to have to just travel the fuck out. And it turns out she's going to be in Washington, D.C., December 18th. And, uh, I hate Washington, D.C. I'll never go back. Not with drugs, anyway. But, um, I'm going to go see her with my sister. And I'm so excited about that. I'm so excited. But I don't know about this place. I really don't know if I can do Maryland. And, and I just don't know what to do. I have to, I'm trying to tell myself, or trying to convince myself to, to, I guess trying to teach myself really that I'm to be realistic and to be um, grounded. <clears throat> um, but it's just it's, there's a part of me that I've always that's always been you know it's always been inside me is the fear factor. Um. What am I going to do? I'm really fucked up. You know, my life kind of. Because mm. I'm not fierce right now. I don't. You know, there's no. There's nothing fierce about my life right now. Except for that being a big concert. And except for that my case is dismissed. It was pretty fucking fierce. <laughs> um. I'm writing a book. Uh, I guess that's about it for now. I just wanted to say hi and tell you guys what's going on. Plus, I'm bored waiting for my brother who locked the fucking door um, to the apartment, so I'm locked out. And he's not answering his phone because he never answers his phone. Uh, so I'm not car smoking. Um, some spice, or whatever. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Um, so I actually forgot a few things. Um, I meant to say <clears throat> that, um, to anybody who, if anybody would have told me that who was in my situation, I was, um, arrested, set up. That's a fat fucking uh, person who I should never have. You know, they, three years, three years before that, they had drugged me, drugged me and robbed me. And I was only calling them, I only called them back in December to help me to, um, um, regulate, um, a certain, two certain people, who will be named, um, anonymous. Um, anyways, I told him to help me to, um, get back where we were trying to get me off, and little did I know at the this fat black person had been in trouble recently, and and so he had this um like my I'm guessing he had this deal with um you know the authorities to help um turn in you know if he had some information to turn in some people uh to get himself out. So he set me up. I told him about everything, and and I was just so stupid. And he cut me up and I got arrested and I had almost four ounces of meth on me. Uh, so if, if, if I were somebody else, I would say that there's probably, definitely, something shady going on with myself and 
the authorities, similar to what the fat black person had. Um, cause that's, I mean, it just doesn't make sense. Uh, I'm not gonna argue with anybody, though. Um, and, you know, if, if people are gonna believe what they believe, and, and really, and it could make any difference one way or the other, whether they think, um, I mean, let them fear me. Uh, whatever. Um, this video is going a little too long. I'm ranting again. I.